Live from Chicago, Illinois, it's a game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It is Tic Tac Go. And I am Rodney1279. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Glad to have you with us. We're going to have an awesome time. I can feel it. Well, on the last episode, we have a good winner who has won $209,964. And two wins is A.J. Richards on this run. How you doing, A.J.? Doing well. How are you? Good. Good, good. You ready to play? Sure am. And the challenger that is going to play, I think he's the last in the line, we have Steve Klebrowski. How you doing, Steve? I'm fine, thank you. Well, are you ready to play our special episode here? I'm ready. Good, ready. good, good. All of our questions today we're going to have is a special Trivia Pursuit episode. And this version of Trivia Pursuit is going to be devoted to the 2000s, okay? All right, and here are the categories for today's game. And they are... Stand by. I don't have the keyboard hook. That's why it's not working. I do this countless... I do this time and time again. There we go. First category, science and technology. We have secret category. Choose the secret category and you're correct. The value of the jackpot will double. We have entertainment, the arts, places, the $10,000 question, sports and hobby, hobbies. The bonus category, if you answer a three-part question correctly in the bonus category, You'll get another turn immediately, and we have events. Okay. AJ, what would you like to begin, sir? Let's start with events. You want to start with events, huh? Okay. Your question on events, they color code them. Events is yellow, and I will tell you the topic is mad about ads, okay? Mad about ads, okay? And Advertising. Yeah, mad about advertising. You have 30, you have 30 seconds to answer each question, okay? All right. Here's your question. What one word greeting said by one bro to another in a silly Budweiser spot was so memorable it took the top ad award in the Canes in 2000? Can you repeat the question? What one word greeting said by one bro to another in a silly Budweiser spot was so memorable it took the top ad award in Canes in 2000? What's up? That's right. Good job. That was kind of easy. That one was kind of easy because I be saying that to y'all all the time. <laughs> all that. Yeah, I do. What's up? That was kind of easy. Okay, we shuffle. Okay. All right, Steve, where would you like to place your first circle? Sports and hobbies. Going sports and hobbies. Let's see what the topic is for sports and hobbies. The topic is trophy and awards, okay? Trophy and awards. Your question. The plaque for what award given to Clayton Kershaw and Corey Kuber in 2014 had a 3D element of a hand grasping a baseball? I repeat it again. The plaque for what award given to Clayton Kershaw and Corey Kuber in 2014 had a 3D element of a hand grasping a baseball. Should that be the Cy Young Award? You're right, Steve. That's right. Okay. So far, so good. We're batting 1000 We shuffle. $4,000 is in the pot. Okay, AJ. Let's do places. Going with places. Two-part question, and you will get the extra time for each part, okay? And the topic for places we have is island life. Island life, okay? All right. All right. First, which Hawaiian island was the location for much of the shooting of the TV show Lost? Is it Maui, Oahu, or Hawaii? That's the first one. The second one, which British tycoon's $100 million house set on a privately owned Caribbean island went up in flames in 2011, okay? Here's your time to think about both of them. All 
All right, AJ, which part you want to answer first? Let's start with the first. What, which Hawaiian island was the location for much of the shooting of the TV show Lost? Is it Maui, Oahu, or Hawaii? Oahu. Right. And for the uh, center box, which, uh, which British tycoon's $100 million house set on a privately owned Caribbean island went up in, Fran went up in flames in 2011? I'll read it again. Which British tycoon's $100 million house set on a privately owned Caribbean island went up in flames in 2011? No idea. No guesses, huh? No. I have to tell you, the answer was Richard Branson. Richard Branson. Okay, we still have four thousand dollars in the pot, and we shuffle. <coughs> All right, Steve. Events. All right, events. We're going for a two-part question in events. We'll continue with the mad about ads here. Here's the two questions in event. Event. Events. First, what forward bit of advice from the most interesting man in the world helped to sell Dolph Equus beer in 2007? That's the first one. And the second one, which actor played the hip Mac guy facing off against the nerdy PC guy in a series of ads launched by Apple in 2006? Here's your time to think about it. Siri, I'm not talking to you. My phone just started uh, having a mind of its own there. All right, Steve, which part you want to answer first? The first one, please. All right, what four-word bit of advice from the most interesting man in the world helped to sell Dolph Equus beer, Equis beer in 2007? It's actually pronounced Dosakis. And Dosakis, thank you. And the word is, I believe, stay thirsty, my friends. That's right. Good job. And uh, for the center box, which actor played the hip Mac guy facing off against the nerdy PC guy in a series of ads launched by Apple in 2006? What's the name of the app you want to launch? Shut up, Siri. Sorry, Steve. Time's up. I picture his name. I couldn't remember. <laughs> yeah. The answer was Justin Long. Justin Long. All right. So we still have $4,000 in the pot and we shuffle. You know why the phone kept on going off? Because I kept on saying Apple. And it pops on. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, AJ. Sports and hobbies, please. Going sports and hobbies. Okay. Let's go to the next one in sports and hobbies. We're still on uh, trophies and awards, okay? Here's your okay. question. Which team won the Silver Lombardi Trophy by defeating the Seattle Seahawks in 2015? New England Patriots. Right you are. Good job. All right, we have $6,000 in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, Steve. Okay, uh, I guess I have to go with the arts for the block. All right, this is the first time in that category in the arts. Let's see what's the topic here for the arts. Real books. That's R-E-E-L, real books, okay? Uh-huh. Here's your question. What critter is named Richard Parker in The Life of Pi, a novel made into a 2012 film? Uh, 
time, Steve. I'm sorry. The answer was a tiger. Tiger. Yep. We uh, have uh, $6,000 still in the pot and we shuffle. All right, AJ. $10,000 questions for the win. All right, you get this question right on the $10,000 question, AJ. It'll be another $16,000. And then your winnings will be at $225,964. It will be your third win. Now, the, the, ten, the red category questions are my own questions, okay? Okay. For Tic Tac Doe, what is the capital of Montana? Helena? You got Tic Tac Doe! Good job! Wow. <laughs> Nicely done, AJ. You have another sixteen thousand dollars. Your winnings will be at your, your winnings are at. I shouldn't say will be at, but they are at two hundred twenty-five thousand nine hundred sixty-four dollars. And our congratulations. Okay, we'll do the okay. beat the dragon game in a moment. Well, Steve, thanks for playing our game. We'll definitely have you for another game. Okay. All right. Thank you again, AJ. Good game, Steve. Well, that game kind of went quicker that time. You ready to go to the Beat the Dragon game? Yes, sir. Let's do the Beat the Dragon game then. Good luck to you, AJ. Okay. All right, AJ, as you know, you have nine numbers on the board, and the object is for you to reach $10,000 or more or get the ticket attack before seeing that ugly dragon. You managed to do all of that, get the $10,000, or get the ticket attack. Here's the prizes you're in for. We have a spa, a baby grand piano, a bedroom group and sleep set, a trip to Vail, Colorado, an entertainment center and 50-inch projection TV, a 65-inch projection TV, too, with the prizes totaling $36,400. Good prize package. You gain two TV sets. Not a bad deal, is it, AJ? No, it's not. And uh, you get the ticket attack on your picks is a twenty-five thousand dollar bonus. During your first two picks, we give you a fifty thousand dollar bonus and a shot at a new card. You can get help from the audience. Let's we'll start with seven. Let's see what's in number seven. It's four thousand dollars. Okay, you can stop or go. Let's go with number three. He's going with number three. Let's see what's in number three. There's the tick. Now, I find the tack. We give you a $25,000 bonus and a shot at a new car. Stop or go? I'll go with number nine. Does he do it again? With number nine, $1,500. You're up to $5,500. You need $4,500 or the tack. I'll go with number four. Go on number four. It's tacked behind number four. No! Sorry about that, AJ. There's that dragon. Well, you'll have another shot at it um, in the next game if you win. Let's see where the tack was. Where was the tack, guys? Five. Tack was in number six. So that means that the jackpot for this bonus game is $30,000 or $60,000 if it happens on the first two picks. And AJ will have you go back to the X spot and we'll pause for a moment. And when we come back, we'll do more tic tac doe. Don't go away. Thank you, guys. Right, guys we're back with tic tac doe and aj richards had a little bad luck with that dragon but we'll see what happens as he play against justin noise how you doing justin doing good well you ready to do uh the uh trivia pursuit game ready all right remember it's in the last 15 years from 2000 to 15 to 2015 is where all the questions are at okay and here are the categories again. They're the same ones. The difference is, is we have the double or nothing in play. If you choose the double or nothing, you can keep that box if you want to or risk it for another box. But be careful. If you do risk it for another box and miss the question, you'll lose both boxes. 
we have the jump in category, and then we have the secret category, which is double the jackpot. I will, unjust, uh, I will unlock Justin's control. And AJ, what would you like to begin this time? Let's do sports and hobbies. Going sports and hobbies. Okay. Let's see. We're still on trophies and awards. Let's see. Make sure. Okay, here's the next question. What do the 30 gold plated flags on the trophy given to the San Francisco Giants in 2014 represent? They're 30 years in existence. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It's the number of teams in Major League Baseball. It's the World Series trophy. Oh. Yeah, so uh, we shuffle. All right, Justin, what would you like to place your first circle? Uh, boy. Double or nothing! He's going for double or nothing right away, okay. This is my own question on this one, so here we go. Here's the double or nothing question. What was Gatsby's first name in the book, The Great Gatsby? Bill? Bill is wrong, I'm sorry. The answer was J. J. Okay, we shuffle. All right, AJ. Let's give Science and Tech a try. Give Science and Tech a try. This is the first time in this category. And the topic for Science and Tech is App Happy. App Happy, okay? App? App Happy. A-P-P. -P. All right. All right, here's your question. What celeb ones, excuse me, what celeb who's famous for being famous inspired a 2014 smartphone game that netted her $74 million. Kim Kardashian? Hell yeah! That's ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah, that was... But you got it, AJ. We shuffle. Good job. Alright, uh, Justin. Uh... Places. Going places. I don't think we tried that yet. Have we? No, yeah, we, yeah have. we have. We have. Okay. All right. Let's see. Okay. Here's your question. We're still on island life for places. What was the Andrew J. Barberi that crashed in 2003 on a five-mile, 25-minute ride in New York Harbor? I'll repeat it again. What was the Andrew J. Barberi that crashed in 2003 on a five-mile, 25-minute ride in New York Harbor. I want to pass. You want to pass. The answer was the Staten Island Ferry. The Staten Island Ferry. Okay, we still have $2,000 in the pot. We shuffle it. All right, AJ. Let's do sports and hobbies again. Going with sports and hobbies again. Let's see where we're at. Okay, we're still on trophies and uh, awards. Here's your question. Who won the oldest trophy in golf history, the Claret? The Claret Jug in 2014. I'll repeat it again. Who won the oldest trophy in golf history, the Claret Jug, in 2014? Is it A, Bubba Watson, B, Rory M McRoy, or C, Jordan Spieth? Jordan Spieth. Jordan Spieth. That is incorrect. It is Rory McRoy. McElroy, I think it's... McElroy. McElroy, thank you very much. Rory McElroy, okay? All right, uh, we shuffle. All right, Justin. I think I will do uh, sports and hobbies. Going sports, okay, sports and hobbies. We're back on this one again. Still trophies and awards. Your question. What newly designed flame-shaped trophy is given to celebs who are chosen online by the general public?
pass. Okay, I'm going to tell you. Have you ever heard of the People's Choice Award? I think so. Yeah, that's the answer. The People's Choice Award. All right, we oh. shuffle. All right, AJ. Let's do events. Going with events. Okay. Okay, events. Still the mad about ads? All right, here's your question. Make sure here. This the next one. Okay, got it. Which credit card company helped establish the day after Black Fl Friday? I repeat again. Which credit card company helped establish the day after Black Friday as Small Business Saturday in a 2010 ad? Chase? No, it's American Express. Uh. American Express. Okay, we shuffle. Right. Yep. Did the last 15 years. Go ahead, Justin. Oh, boy. Uh, entertainment. We didn't try that one yet. Entertainment, okay. And let's see what the topic is for entertainment. Latin flavor. Latin flavor, okay. Here's your question. This is a multiple choice. What is the last name of Dora the Explorer, the animated Latina character on Nick Jr.? Is it A, Martinez, B, Munez, or D, Marquez, or C, Marquez? Um, let's say B. Munez? Yes. Incorrect. It's Marquez. Marquez. Okay, we shuffle. Okay. All right, AJ. Sports and hobbies. Going sports and hobbies again. Okay, let's see right. where we're at on the sports and hobbies. Okay, this is the last one in this subject, trophies and awards, okay? Okay. Which country is home to Petra Kivtova, who won the Wimbledon Silver Platter in 2014 in the Women's Singles Final. What country is she from? Which country is home to Petra Kitova, who won the Wimbledon Silver Platter in 2014 in the Women's Singles Final? Russia? Not Russia, you would think so, no. She's from the Czech Republic. The Czech uh -huh. Republic. Now we're done with the trophies and the awards. So we're going to go to a different topic. Okay, we still have 2,000 in the pot and we shuffle. <laughs> All right, Justin. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, sports and hobbies. Okay, we're on a different topic in that category. Sports and hobbies. Let's see what the topic is this time. Basketball. Okay, basketball. Here's your question. Which Wildcats coach was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame in 2015, the same year he won his third College Coach of the Year award? Calipari. That was right, AJ. Good. That was right. Okay, we shuffle. All right, AJ. Let's do sports and hobbies. Okay, we're going to stick with that basketball again. Your question. What 2014 and 2015 season NBA MVP averaged 23.8 points 7.7 .7 assists, and 4.3 rebounds per game during the regular season. The only thing coming to my mind is Stephen Curry. And you will be right. Good job. We have $4,000 in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, uh, um, um, Justin. I'm going to block him. Sports and hobbies. Okay, and we're going to still stick with the basketball. You're going to get two questions in the basketball. And uh, it's a two-part question, and here's your first one. In what 2015 
Amy Schumer film does a scene stealing LeBron James play an exaggerated version of himself as Bill Hader's best friend? That's the first one. The second one, which Oklahoma City Thunder player ranked second on the Sports Illustrated Top 100 list of NBA players in 2015? Here's your time to think about those. All right, Justin, which part you want to answer first? I think we're going to go with the second one. Which Oklahoma City Thunder player ranked second on the Sports Illustrated Top 100 list of NBA players in 2015? Kevin Durant? There you go. And we have one more for you. Um, And what? Let me turn this off so it can be fair. There we go. All right. In what 2015 Amy Schumer film does a scene stealing LeBron James play an exaggerated version of himself as Bill Hader's best friend? Oh boy. I'm going to have to take a walk. I to say, uh... Space Jam? Space Jam is wrong. I know it. What's the answer, AJ? Train wreck. That's right. Good job, AJ. All right, we stab $4,000 in the pot and we shuffle. All right, AJ. Sports and hobbies. Going with sports and hobbies. Okay, your question, next question in basketball. Which men's basketball team has won the most NCAA Division I championships as of 2015? I have it between two. Is it the Kentucky Wildcats? No. What was your other guess? Duke Blue Devils. It was neither of them. Um, the answer was UCLA. It tops oh, the list. Damn. With 11. It tops the list with 11, okay? We still have $4,000 in the pot and we shuffle. All right, uh, Justin. <laughs> Sports and hobbies. All right, we're going to be done with the basketball subject, okay? So we're going to do basketball. We're going to finish the basketball subject and the new subject is fine farewells, okay? All right, here's the first question. In which 2006 film does coach Don Haskins lead the racially mixed Texas Western Miners to a championship showdown against Kentucky in 1966? That's the first one. And the second one, fine farewells. What number did the NHL retire in 2000 to honor the great one, Wayne Gretzky, who quit the ice in 1999? Here's the time to think about it. All right, which one you want to start with first, um, Justin? The second one is 99. Right. Now back to the first one. In which 2006 film does coach Don Haskins lead the racially mixed Texan, Texas, um, why, let me try again. Ugh, I can't talk today. In which 2006 film does coach Don Haskins lead the racially mixed Texas Western Miners to a championship showdown against Kentucky in 1966? A League of Their Own? Say it again. A League of Their Own? You know, A League of Their Own was a baseball um, movie. That's wrong. The answer was um, Gory Road. Gory Road. So we're done with the basketball subject. And uh, let me put this on the bottom. All right, we still have 4,000 in the pot and we shuffle. What's <laughs> All right, AJ. Let's give places a try. Giving places a try, okay. 
we go to places. Da 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 da. We still on island life. Let me make sure here. Okay, here's your question. Which island country is home to Usain Bolt, the fastest man in the world in the 100 meter dash as of 2009? Jamaica. Right you are, good job. All right, $6,000 is in the pot and we shuffle. All right, Justin. Good boy. Two pieces to block, and I'm gonna block them both. Double or nothing. Okay, double or nothing. You need this. Okay, here's your question: the double or nothing. Okay, whose movie's character full name is Charles Lee Ray? Oh, I absolutely have no idea. I'm going to have to pass. No guesses. Have you ever seen Child Play? No. Nope. Oh, I've seen it. The answer was Chucky. Chucky. Oh, yeah, wow. Chuck Chucky. Okay, we still have $6,000 in the pot. We shuffle. This is a hard. All right, uh, AJ. Entertainment for the win. Uh, you get this question right on entertainment. It'll be tic tac dough. Eight thousand dollars. Your wings will be at two hundred and thirty three thousand nine hundred and sixty four dollars. Okay. Entertainment. Okay. Latin flavor is the subject. Here's your question. Okay. Which singer announced her engagement to a model soon after his ex wife? J-Lo released her memoir, True Love, in 2014. Repeat the question. Which singer announced his engagement to a model soon after his ex-wife, J-Lo, released her memoir, True Love, in 2014? Mark Antony. You got Tic Tac Do! Good job! Good job, good job, good job. That's another $8,000, AJ. You're up to $233,964. And uh, we're going to have you play against that dragon in a moment. Well, Justin, that was a tough one, but uh, we'll definitely have you for another game, okay? All right. Game, all right, AJ. All right. Hey, Justin. All right. Well, uh, AJ, you ready to go after that dragon? Let's do it. Let's do the Beat the Dragon game. Here we go. Alright, AJ, and let's go ahead and see what prizes you're in for this time. And here are the following. We have a, twi a trip to St. Lucia, a dining group of dinnerware, a floor clock, a trip to Vail, Colorado, a bedroom group and sleep set, a spa. And those prizes are totaled $33,800. We're getting some round figures today. If you manage to get the ticket and attack on any of your picks, we give you a $30,000 bonus, uh, AJ. But if you do on your first two picks, it's $60,000 and a shot at a new car. So let's cover up the board. And when you're ready to go, go ahead and start picking. Let's go to number one. Let's see what's in number one. It's $2,500. Okay, stop or go? Go. Go with number seven. You said seven? Yes. Let's see what's in number seven. There's another 1500 You have $4,000. Stop or go? Go with number five. Go with number five. Let's see what's in number five. There's the tax. Find the ticket. We give you a $30,000 bonus and a shot at the new car. Number nine. All right. Let's see what's behind number nine. Is Tick there? He's going. Is Tick there? It's three thousand dollars. You have seven thousand dollars. You need three thousand to take now. Let's go with number three. He's going with number three. He needs three thousand dollars, but we would really like to see the take. Let's see it. Another thousand dollars, AJ. Now this is your last pick. Either you're gonna win on this pick or lose on this pick, but you can still take the eight thousand and walk away. What do you want to do? 
Let's go with number eight. You're going to win or lose either way. Okay, number eight. We need the tick or the $2,000. Let's see. Good job, AJ. Another $13,000 and the prize package. Okay. Where was that dragon, guys? Was it in two, four, or six? Six. Well, there's the tick. The tick was in six. The dragon was in two. So that makes it a nice round total of $46,800 for you, AJ. Oh, good. This is easy mathematics right here. I'm just going to write the math down here anyway. So we're going to add your previous winnings of $233,964. That gives you a total of $280,764. All right, guys. Well, we're going to take our final commercial break. And when we come back, we'll have some closing remarks. Don't go away, y'all. Alright guys, we're back with our closing of Tic Tac Doe. And uh um we have AJ, he has won $280,764. And me and AJ was talking. What did you say to me during the commercial break, AJ? I said I like the two thousands version a lot better than the um other one. The Master Edition? A lot easier questions? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do this again. Um, episode 30, we can do this again. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And I like the fact, the main thing I like about this one is that the topics, the questions on the 2000 version gives you the different um, uh, topics that comes within the categories. And I think that's pretty neat. Yeah, you answered a whole lot of basketball questions. Um, are you a basketball fan, AJ? Yes, I am. Who's your favorite team? Minnesota Timberwolves. <laughs> Thibodeau, right? They beat the hell out of our bowls. But your first year by Raptors again! Yeah, it's 11 in a row for us. We beat the Raptors 11 games in a row. What's wrong with y'all uh, Raptors, uh, Justin? I don't know. These laws even after they trade Terrence Ross to Orlando. Yeah. They beat all the hard teams. How come y'all can't beat the Bulls? I don't know. <laughs> It's been since 2013 since y'all won against us. Yeah. Yep. Well, do we play you any more this season? Do you know? I have no idea. I'm going to check on the schedule to see if we play you any more this season. Okay? Uh -huh. And um, I also want to say, guys, I did get the chance to meet somebody today. You know, I went to the game show tryout today and uh, tried out for the $100,000 pyramid. Hopefully, you know, I will get on this time. But even if I don't get on, it's good to try out for game shows. If you want to get on the game show, don't we agree, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, you know, but I'm going to tell you all this. I was not nervous during the tryouts. I felt comfortable. And um, hopefully everything will turn out fine. And, you know, I want to make a big shout-out to Chad Mosher. I did get to see him today. He's my good friend on Palace, you know, a good friend. He always, you know, uh, believed in me during games when nobody else believed in me. So I want to give a big shout-out to Chad Mosher. This is for you, bud. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tic Tac Dell, man. And um, did everybody in the uh, audience have a good time? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we'll have our regular episodes of Tic Tac Doe, and I'll be and I'll be sure to have my notebook the next time. I think 
I left my notebook at work with the scores and stuff because I got so excited about the tryout. So that's a lesson learned. It won't happen again. All right, guys. Well, with that all said, this is Writing1279 signing off saying be safe, be careful, take care, everybody, and stay blessed. Goodbye, y'all. Here we go. We got the closing. Stand by for the closing. Here we go.